Hello, Kit Heads. We are talking Kit, the home of the greatest football kit content in the whole entire world for the community, by the community. Yes, this is what we are about. I am Double A. That is Kit King Dom. No, that is Kit King Dom. We'll get to him in a second. <laughs> but first of all, it's it's Wednesday. It means only one thing and one thing only. We are back deep diving into the rank bank for 10 more shirts for you to peruse over and for us to have already scored for full kit rankers. This is what it's for. 10 shirts then. And you may or you may not know, you may not know, or you may know, you may not know by now. Uh the theme. And it is it's 10, it's 10 years since United won won a Premier League title. Now I this forgot. might seem weird to do to ourselves being two massive reds. But let, you know, no agendas on this on this channel, no agendas whatsoever. We can we can mock ourselves, that's what we can do. So we thought, you know, if if it's 10 years, how can Man United go 10 years without winning winning a league title? It's disgusting. So let's rank 10 shirts from that season. Uh, not United. I, I know I'm wearing the home shirt from that season, but not United. 10 other shirts. Now, I don't know. I've been really ill the last the last week. I don't know if you've seen me tweet about it or whatever. Obviously, on the show last week, I didn't sound too great. Um I don't know whether it was hysteria or the nostalgia has gotten to me. I remember shirts from that season being a lot better than they were. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it's so I'm not going to lie. I mean, one of the guests I asked to come on, and the first thing it, he said in was... In the last month as well. These are so shit. That's, that's the first thing he said. And I was like, no. Oh, thanks, mate. I'll get them over to you in a minute. No, thanks for inviting me on the show again, as always. No, these are shit. I'm like, all oh, right, okay. Yeah, uh, but genuinely, these are the, the rest were worse. So the ten I've got, uh, besides United, were, were terrible. I think I've definitely picked the best bunch. Uh, but there is some. Oh, there's some nice shirts in there. There is some nice shirts in there. There's a couple of nice shirts in there. There's maybe one. There's one nice shirt in there. There's <laughs> one nice shirt in there. Two nice shirts. One of the guests is saying, "We'll we'll see." But you, you know, you be the judge. Get in the comments. Let us know how we've done. Me, if if I've if I've messed it, if I've ruined it, let us know in the comments. It's always nice to know. Uh, but before we do all of that, obviously, um, smash a like on the video. If it's your first time talking kit, maybe it's not. You talk kit all the time. Just smash a like if for whatever reason, or subscribe to the channel as well. It's always nice for you to do that. So yeah, do that as well, and share it with your kit loving friends. There's loads of us, so let's share it and get the kit head community even bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Um. So yeah, just me and Dom from the regular rankers this week. Uh, how are you doing, Dom? You, you're all good. I am splendid, other than being reminded of the decade since uh, we last mm -hmm. won a title. Oh, uh, yeah. But yeah, yeah, we 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 don't deserve to win one. So interesting seeing uh, what's going on at the top and the bottom of the table this year in particular as well. So yeah, yeah could be could be better, but I, I'm sure it will get better. In Eric, we trust. I hope so, mate. And it's not even like we've been close to winning one since. It's like I know we've cut, finished second a couple of times, but we may, have, we, we may have finished eleventh. There was there is no it's not even close. So it's like, it, it, yeah, it's it's shocking. It's been shocking. But I mean, you know, we can, at least we can look back at at memories, mate, and long and look at back at grainy old pictures and videos of <laughs> Van Persie scoring a worldie of a volley against Aston Villa, oh, oh. Arsenal's best player coming over to Manchester and winning a title. <laughs> um, you know, because they're not going to win one for a while, so you know, that's not even funny because I actually want them to win it. That's the worst thing about this. I actually want them to win the league. If United can't, I'd rather them because I don't want City to do it. Same principle, well, you know, though, that doesn't count yeah. if they win it because it's the same yeah. as us finishing second in a piss yeah. poor year. It's uh, if, if they don't, if they win it, it's on the basis that City weren't at the races. Chelsea dropped off. Liverpool had their asses handed to them a number of times, and United were nowhere to be seen. But that—that's not as much of a surprise. So what, what you say? What you saying is that the London Leicester, aren't you? <laughs> I hope so. If this season's Leicester are anything to go by, I quite happily see them go down for next year. <laughs> Mikel Arteta's tricky uh, Gunners going down to the Championship would be. I think City, City are the only team to have won the top league and then be relegated the following season. 
So that's a plus. Oh, that that'd be nice for that to happen again. Yeah. Uh, okay, well, it's me and Dom. Better here. And as a, as always, the show is sponsored by Retro Foot Buckets. Uh, Jay has ranked. Do you know what about Jay? I mean, I don't know whether. Well, I hope he's been watching. But I think he, he might be feeling a bit hurt about some of the comments we make about his uh, his his ranking. What do you mean, we? What... I don't say anything. Hey, hey, I know right. there's like there's some, there's a feud between him and <laughs> him and Sean. Sean that we, yeah. I think we've got a by a proxy. We've got to arrange a boxing match. Is it? Um, I think I've that's just that. the done thing these days, isn't it? So yeah, yeah, we'll set that up. But yeah, I didn't think he had any any beef with me. <laughs> I thought it'd be you of well, all people. <sighs> Well, he don't say anything to my face. Maybe behind my back. But I mean, we both we both mock him for not saying much in in his rankings, and he's really gone out of his way. I mean, I, I actually scroll down to see the bottom. Like that that never happens. It's always in one message. I've had to scroll down. It's. Do you know? Is he still is he still paying for his text messages? I hope not, because he'd be screwed with that. <laughs> That's definitely costing twenty p. It could be. I don't know. I don't know. Also, as well, we, he didn't, didn't realise Sean was my cousin. He kept saying, your, your mate, your mate is... I was like, be careful, because he's family, mate. He's like, what? And I went, yeah, he's my cousin. And he's like, yeah. I, I didn't know that. I said, yeah, you better be what? No, you want to stick up for him. If it was my mate, I wouldn't have to, but his family... Yeah, I, have to, I have to, yeah. He's like, he's like my younger brother. I've got to kind of do it. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> if he's a mate, I'll do what you want, say what you want, I'm not bothered. Uh, but anyway, that, my point was, the show sponsored by Retro Football Kits, um, as you may well know, and... And they've got another sale. It's not even 20% now. It's 15%. I, 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 I've not got a graphic. They've not sent me anything. But you might see at the top, 15% off site wide. I mean, at this point, they're practically giving the shirts away. I mean, so go and, go and buy some, I guess. That would uh, help them. That would be nice. And, yeah, look out for retro football kits, by the way, because I think they've got some very, very good stuff coming up. Uh, so I'd keep an eye on our socials, you know, at retro f- Retro kits underscore LTD on Twitter and Instagram. Obviously, the YouTube channel is always in the description. And uh, they're on TikTok as well. They're everywhere. Jay's pretty much everywhere, to be fair. And, um, yeah, I'll just look out because they've got some really good stuff coming up. I've, I'm, I'm privy to some information. So, yeah, um, 15% off site-wide at the moment. Go and check it out, as always. Um, and when there's no sale, which never it doesn't, seem to be any, it doesn't seem to be not a sale on, 10% off with Talking Kit 10, which is always good. So um, use that when there's no sale. Anyway, we've rambled on long enough, I think, the two of us. Let's get our guests on and get into the show properly. Um, first guest then is returning for his umpteenth time. I've lost count. I don't really want to think about it or try and even count because he's been on quite a few times. He's a massive friend of the channel. Been on pretty much every show we've done um, in every iteration. Uh, so much so, he asked if he could take over Dom's spot. And I said, I can't, kind of. It's a bit awkward. Don't ask me that question again. Um, and he was the person. He was the person to say all the kits were shit. Uh, he's my friend. He's your friend. He's everyone's friend. He's a man. He's the kit man, the man. Uh-huh. Right. That intro was amazing, by the way. Yeah. And yes, Tom, I'm coming for your seat. Yeah, it's so it's right. very, as long as you bring it very uncomfortably. It's fine. Nah, I'm joking. <laughs> I'll be honest, mate. The way the way Ra- Sean's ranking at some points, he could be the first to go. I'll be, I'll be honest. With you. <laughs> hey, listen, I'll take Sean, even though he's had me. So you know, hey, I, I, I've got no um, attachment, mate. If you're not bringing the juice, you need to you need to head out. But listen, uh, mate, to I, you, I, uh, what you said? I was say, listen to you lot moan about ten years. It's been nearly twenty since Arsenal. It since well, Arsenal. Yeah, Arsenal imagine. Really. Well, we, yeah, I, I, you must feel te- two times as worse as what we do. But that's fine. I mean. You're gonna win it. You're gonna win it this season, though, right? No, no. I, know, I, know. I, I know. I know. You know. We can hold. That, it's, not, it's not impossible. It, no, it's not. It's not impossible. Um, it, nearly, it nearly is. But do you know what's really gonna annoy me? I do think City will drop some points, but probably only in one game, right? And yeah. then that means Arsenal probably, if we win all our games as well, means Arsenal will probably lose that by one or two points, right? And then when you start thinking about the game against Brentford where they forgot to draw lines for the FA apology, that's going to really pee me off. Right, yeah. But, you know... All of them straws. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was going to say it's always next year, but you'll be relegated next year. So it's not, not going to happen. Who? Us. 
<laughs> London, we're the only London, two. We're London, Leicester. If Everton go down, if Everton go down, which is unlikely now, but if Everton go down, we're the only team to never be relegated from the top flight. How we got there was a bit controversial, <laughs> right? But since we got there in controversial fashion, because we paid our way in, basically. Um, but since we've been Same there, old Arsenal. always cheating. Same old Arsenal. <laughs> it, it wasn't <laughs> cheating. Yeah, it's just the way that the world you works. Money you talks, said, mate. You said this. Just ask the neighbours from the Blue Arthur Manchester. Or is it like a quarter? What, what is it? Is it like a blue not like, we got one area, yeah, Stockport. That's pretty much all it is, mate. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much all it is. Uh, but no, thanks for joining us, mate. It's always nice to see you. Um, yeah, really. Always happy to yeah, have you on. I know, I know you did say recently you need to get on. So I thought, you know, yeah, I was scraping the barrel, trying to find a name, and yours popped up. So I thought, why well, not? Well, you're scraping the barrel with the kits as well, <laughs> so, you know. Oh, well, <laughs> hey, hey, your team's in there, pal. So I'm not bothered about that. That's fine with me. You, you, you say that. <laughs> <laughs> but no, genuinely, it's always a pleasure to, uh, to have you on the channel, pal. So, again, thank you for being here. Uh, our final guest uh, this evening is uh, someone I've, I've been wanting to get on. I, I want to get everyone on talking kit. It's, it's a stupid thing to say at this point because it's a chat. It's a, the channel for the community. So I want everyone to come on. So the fact that he is with a few DMs and it was like pretty much, it wasn't even like a long conversation. It was like, oh, so when are you coming on? And he kind of said, whenever. I was like, right, sweet. Okay. Uh, when are you free? Um, and then we kind of booked a date, and, and this is the date, so that's kind of how it works. But yeah, it, no, I mean, it, one of the, the greatest uh, accounts for selling some of the amazing shirts you'll see just from his backdrop, it, it's just it's crazy at this point. And, and I don't really have to take well. it. You what? He's funny as well. I've had him on my channel as well. He's, he's jokes. Oh, all right. I was first to have him on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not a competition. Sloppy seconds. Yeah, I'll find his fee. <laughs> you didn't help me. You didn't do anything. You're not getting convicted out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same you know, well last like we helped you win the league that season. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, uh, anyway, uh, you, you've been crouching on someone else's intro. You've had your own fire intro, Marcus, yeah? Sorry, sorry, Jay. Let this person have thrown. Basically, he sells fire kits. He's got fire kits in his background. Let's talk, let's talk to him about them fire kits. It's Jake from Sporting Nostalgia. Good evening, Jake, how you doing, mate? You okay? Thank you. Thanks for having me. Oh, mate, we're, 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 it's the pleasure is all ours, genuinely. Like, like I say, I love having people on that have not been on before and reaching out and getting more and more people on. And you're definitely one of the accounts and one of the people for, within the community that we definitely need to have on the channel. So, yeah, honestly, the pleasure is ours, and thank you for agreeing to come on. Didn't take um, much persuading to come on. <laughs> That's what I like, mate. I don't like much persuading. I like it easy. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. You want to come I'm on? Not... Yeah, when? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey I'll tell a story. It took me about six months to get Zeke on. Jesus wept. He was having none of it. Like it felt like. Oh, I, I'm not joking. Yeah, he felt like stalking at one point. Now he can't move for fucking podcast that he's on. He's on every fucking week. I like <laughs> to think I started it. But he's like, he's like I, I don't really think. No, he was on my channel first again. That's because you broke into his house and made him do a video. That no, that was. no, actually, I stalked him in the park, right? I'll have you know. Oh, okay. Yeah, all right, well, uh, I run up to oh, the breaking in came after, right? Okay, yeah, like, so it was stalking, then, then, uh, theft. Right, that's fair. No, that's fair. Okay. Uh, well, no, yeah, big up Zeke, by the way. Um, yeah, big up Zeke. We need to get him on. We need to get him on again soon. But no, this so this is your panel for tonight. Obviously, Jay has ranked behind the scenes. So, Sean, obviously, I do not rank anymore um, in a committed relationship. I no need no a long to I don't need to rank anymore. That's not my thing. It's not my bag. Uh, I'll leave it to these losers. But yeah, um, <laughs> we, we are ranking 10 shirts. From... I wouldn't say that, lads. <laughs> no, it was a lovely intro, and then he's just calling us losers. He did find out. I've not got three hands. You're, 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 you're pointing down like, just at me as well. It's me that should feel violated. I mean, no I, didn't, I didn't have time to. <laughs> you're all this specific one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this, this one here. No, well, this one here. Um, yeah, that's more right. Arsenal fan. Yeah, we can point yeah, at him when we true. like. That's that's listen, I'm, I'm a lot set up here, isn't I? <laughs> yeah, there'll be a lot of jabs. You say that, but it's a show about taking the mick out United, mate. So I don't know about 
you've you've been saying because oh, you actually oh, won the, the, the league the season oh, that we're talking about. That's very yeah, we we were nine with, years with, 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 your, with your best player, player. <laughs> with, with your without best player. a trophy, not even without the league, yeah. without a trophy. Yeah, and we won the FA Cup this season um, that we're talking about. But yeah, yeah, it was it was a hard time. Nine whole that's years, nine whole yeah. years, and so without a trophy. <sighs> I can't even imagine it, mate. What did we go seven? Uh, we lost the, the, the League Cup final to Birmingham City. I remember. What a game. Man. <laughs> remember. Birmingham City. We lost the League Cup final. I'll be Fabian Martins. I'll be Fabian. And uh, yeah. old Big Pete does not let me live it down. Every time I we see ranked, it. We ranked that shirt, mate. It was it was a Boston shirt, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. Ten shirts from... The 2012-13 season, like we say, the last time United won the old Premier League title. Um, so yeah, I've I've gone for some home, some away, and some third. Uh, don't listen to everyone. Some of the shirts are quite nice. I'm not, I'm not having everyone slag my life. Um, Jake, I, I do ask everyone. So I know you said they are a bit difficult. How how did we find how did we find ranking them? Was it easy? Was it hard? Was it a race to the bottom? Is that what it was? Was it a race to the bottom? It was. It was not. It wasn't a one where you start at the top and work your way down. It was start at the bottom and work your way up. <laughs> I don't want to know about you figuring ranking, out what the worst ones were. <laughs> Each to the road. Each to the road. Start down here. <laughs> You've yeah. got to make your way up it because it, it was process of elimination of which one was worse, not which was the best. Yeah. Yes. But a lot of them, I went. I picked for more uh, the the player that come to mind with them as well. So you put Tottenham. There were some there. very good players that come to mind with some of those shirts. Yeah, you, you know, you're right, and that's you know that's why I do send the pictures of the players in it, so you can get a different view of of the shirt sometimes. But so before we get into it, if you haven't seen the show before, which would be ridiculous at this point, so we have ten shirts. I send them out to five people, the three people, the three losers you can see here, and two losers that are on screen as well, in Jay and Sean. <laughs> and they all rank the shirts one to ten. They send me their list. I then calculate all the scores because each number has a score behind it. That gives us our definitive list. Uh, and yeah, and we run through the list and then we see who is the number one shirt picked by our rankers. Um, very, very close this week, I have to say. Um, so yeah, it was a mixed bag in terms of shirts. Well, let's get into the 10 shirts then. And starting at the bottom, number 10, uh, 16 points, which is quite a high score for number 10. Um, we don't really, it's normally like single figures or 10 at, at most. Uh, but with 16 points this week, uh, it's the third shirt from. I hate this team at the moment. West Ham United. Um, yeah, so Sean had this in fourth place. Be interested to un understand that one. What? Um, what? I, I don't know. I don't, I don't. Do you know what I think he's going to say? Do you know what I think he's going to say about it? I'll, I'll try and defend him. It's that it's it's an old it's an old style that they've used over and over again. It's a typical yeah. West Ham away shirt with that, them two maroon lines. I, I'm guessing that's what he's saying. It, probably not. He probably loves it. He loves Macron. He loves that. He loves S, he loves Spobet, doesn't he? I don't know. Uh, and Jay he loves Macron. But I don't know. I'm guessing. I'm. I'm. I'm, <laughs> I'm no one loves Macron. Now. Well, the Canadian Premier League do because all the teams are sponsored by it, or supplied by it. Maybe. Um, Jay had it in ninth place. Uh, pretty basic. Nothing to shout about. Let's start with the rankers that are here. Jake, so you hate Macron. Tell us why you don't like this shirt and why <laughs> you had it in 10th place. Um, well, Macron. <laughs> S-B-O bet. Uh, yeah. That's kind of a good good start there of what's wrong with it. It's not a nice looking yeah. sponsor. Plain white text, big bold. I don't know what it's called on Word Impact or something. <laughs> the font's called. They should use and, then, and then Macron. I, I don't think I've ever seen a good Macron shirt. Some of the recent ones are all right. Yeah, yeah but you, you, you just they're saying they're all right now. <laughs> Have you bought one? Uh, well, so this shirt, right? Um... <laughs> <laughs> I've got him here. <laughs> you have. I think Stoke had them as well, did they? 
I mean, I've, yeah, everyone's had a apart from United. Yeah, all these terrible Arsenal. teams have had. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know any good teams that have had Macron. Sporting. Na- Napoli. Yeah, Sporting Lisbon had a few decent ones. When, uh, uh, yeah, tell a lie, there. actually. Napoli did have a nice one. I, I think I've actually got it in it. My my lo- my local team Mosley had it, Jake. So take that back, please, as well. Oh, Mosley AFC. Yeah, oh, I, got yeah a match, I got a match worn Macron Mosley shirt, mate. Oh, Macron. There you go. Yeah, see, oh. they've Look just brought that. that out now. It's <laughs> nice for this one. Well, along with the other thirty-seven shirts they brought out this season. Oh, mate. <laughs> yeah, that. We could do an episode just on their shirts. The whole out. series. Free, so if, free you, if you want to buy the only good Macron shirt, it's on my website. <laughs> there you go. Nice, He's nice, right, plug. Yeah. <laughs> nice, nice plug. <laughs> uh, Shameless. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else do you have to say about it, Jake? Oh, is that is that no, it's just bland. It's very bland. It's very it is very West Ham in the sense of claret and blue, but yeah. The sponsor's yeah. just not, not doing it for me. And it's a bit bland. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Um, Dom, you, you agreed with, with Jake having it dead last in, in your list. Tell me why. That's shit, isn't it? Like they've, <laughs> they've done it. Like They go, oh, well, it, it's uh, harking back to a, an old shirt. But they've done it that many times. I don't think it can be considered an old shirt anymore. <laughs> yeah. They do it all the fucking time, like every other season. <laughs> and then, yeah, that, that sponsor, that's the Leeds one as well. I didn't even, I don't oh, remember yeah. this, which is probably a good thing. And the the Macron word text logo is pretty bad with that leisure center like welcome yeah. um, in the middle. Of it, it looks like it looks like Tameside Tameside Leather. I know you know that. <laughs> yeah, and mate, honestly, that gives me PTSD about Verrucas. Um, but yeah, <laughs> it's got it on the shoulder. Where, where were the Verrucas? <laughs> oh well, if you if you lick them hard enough. <laughs> But yeah, the bit the fact that there's um like just the one on the shoulder as well. Um yeah, yeah. No, it is pretty bad. The sponsor being in that garish white as well, um, is too contrasting. Rough, um old West Ham badge is nice though, to be fair. Yeah, um, but yeah, no, yeah. not a fan. Oh Carlton there. Yeah. Who's, Who's that behind? Is that Bill Yeah, it's yeah. 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 Uh Kitman and Marcus. Um you had it in sixth place, so it at least was like middle of the road for you. Yeah, I found it very unoffensive. Um, I don't like it. Um, there's only two in this whole list that I find reasonably okay. Um, yeah, I, I've got a little bit of a soft spot for West Ham, just for where I grew up. I grew up with a lot of West Ham fans. Um, all of my mates were West Ham. And, um, but do you know what, though? Their their old man used to they used to do kids for a quid back when they were in uh, champ and that oh, and I used to go and watch them quite often because my mate's dad's like oh yeah come bring bring all your mates so we used to go yeah. it was all right so mm, but it's a shit shirt yeah um, it looks like a rugby shirt um, <laughs> betting sponsor yeah it's just middle of the road in the lot that we got given yeah. Fair. Fair enough. Uh, apologies to Mick Clifford if you're watching. And then the 18 of this shirt you've got in your match one collection. <laughs> mate, I'd be a so, that's different please. though. The knees. Yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm just getting out of there. I'm just getting out of there because we, I like Mick. So I don't want. So do I. His collection is unreal. Bit ridiculous. Uh, so there we go. West Ham 10th on our list this week with their third shirt from this season. 16 points overall. Uh, moving on to number nine on our list, just beating it by a single point with 17. It says it's a Newcastle home shirt. Yeah. Um, <laughs> talk about virgins. Uh, yeah, so like I say, 17 points overall. Sean put this in sixth place, um, which is no surprise. And Jay, this was Jay's dead bottom this week. Uh, hate them. The misplaced fragments of the stripes. Virgin money sponsor is trash as well. I don't think Newcastle have had a good sponsor since the 90s. I just don't think they've had one. I don't know. It just seems it's terrible. We were talking about it today. Um, don't get the pattern. I, but I'm, I'm not ranking, so who cares what I think? Uh, Kitman and Marcus, let's start with you on this one. Because uh, it no, was no, your... Where did no. you get this one? Ninth. Ninth place. Oh, yeah. Ninth place on your list. So what is it about this new couple of shirt that's not, you know, not you're not having? Genuinely, if they just went with normal lines, normal stripes, yeah, 
it might have been about sixth or seventh or something like that. What in what the fuck is that? <laughs> like I have a commit to making it quirky and like a cartoon or don't. Like what you, like, I had to like proper zoom into it. It's like what's going on here? Like even yeah. the bit, the one the the stripe underneath the money, the white one, it looks a bit like do you know that old S that you used to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah, looks yeah, like yeah. they started to do that. Go, nah, it's yeah. Not yeah, do that. yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. It might have some really deep and philosophical meaning about it, right? And if it does, I'm really sorry. But just to look at his shit, the gold puma is random as hell. Yeah. Um, it looks nice, but then with the red sponsor that's been broken up with the big thing across the middle is awful. Um, yeah, it's it's yeah, it's horrible. It, yeah, it, right. I think I ranked it so low because it had potential to be half decent. And they've messed it up. They've messed it up. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, Dom, um, I didn't know Puma or Newcastle were such big aha fans because it looks like they're trying to recreate the Take On Me video. That's what the graphics look like. <laughs> just me? I don't know. What you had it in? You had it in seventh, though. Was it just yeah. there, was, there was three that were worse than this for you? Yeah, definitely. Um, the, a lot of these have said there's nothing like too like about it, and they've not committed to the pattern. Um, no. and I was I was trying to think whether or not Dortmund had something similar, but <clears throat> it won't be anything bespoke. It'll just be some knobhead at Puma going, "Oh, I can't be bothered. <laughs> I can't, I'm not going to finish this." <laughs> um, here you go, have it. Uh, I tell you what, why don't you put a gold cat on it as well? Uh, it's I don't ab- like it's the- abstract guys. It's abstract. You just yeah. gotta take it all in, guys. You'll love it. I don't I don't like the colour. Um I think um at the time, from the list anyway, I think um shirt manufacturers or designers were being a lot more reserved. So at least they kinda tried a little bit, but didn't try half enough, to be honest. And no. yeah, the sponsor's pretty rank. Yeah, it's not good at all. Uh, Jake, we'll finish off with you. You had it highest out of uh, the rank as well, along with Sean. In sixth place, can you say, is there anything you can say to save it this shirt? Uh, no, it kind of goes back to what uh, Kitman and Man was saying here. I like the attempt of the design. It just needs more of the design on there. But the sponsor then also lets it down as well, which is becoming a common theme with these shirts at the moment, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, the, the design-wise, I kind of like it, but it's not enough of it. Not enough yeah. of it. And it lets it down. And there were a few worse shirts than this, in my opinion. <laughs> I agree. I agree with you. you know, uh, so we... What do you say, mate? Imagine that shirt sponsorless. That as bad as that sponsor is, could you imagine how terrible it would be yeah, if you just had a random white stripe in the yeah, middle? Yeah, yeah, if it didn't have the black and it was yeah. it was the full lines, yeah, and then someone it's like art on shirts did a bit of graffiti on it or something, then yeah. Uh, I think it looked pretty cool, but yeah, with that on it, it's rank. It's terrible. So there we go then. Newcastle's home shirt from this season, the 12th, 12, 13th 12, season. Coming ninth on our list, 17 points overall from our rankers this week. Okay, we've got two shirts, joint seventh now, both on 19 points. The first one we'll get into straight away. No messing about. Oh, I've got a picture of the players in it. Um, I don't think it gets any better. Uh, well, yeah, actually, it does right. because you can't see the stupid pattern, I guess. But goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> That's sponsored us, ruins it, doesn't it? Um, but anyway, let's move on. Southampton at home, or at, at a home shirt oh, right. from Southampton, if you can call it that. Um, 19 points overall. Ninth on the list from Sean, which is surprising because I think like Southampton's like his second team or something, or his first. Well, it must be his third team because United are his first team. Stockport is second team. So Southampton would be his third team. Uh, and Jay had this in... Where did Jay put this one? Uh, he had it in what else? fifth. Clean kit, nice pinstripe. Sponsor ruins it though, which I'm guessing the, the rankers are going to say the same as well. Uh, Jake, we'll, we'll start with you on, on this one. It was your ninth place shirt, similar to the boy Sean. Yeah, I mean, Southampton are a team known for messing around with the home shirts a little bit recently. This just, it's not a Southampton home shirt, is it? 
No, um, it's, it's a bit boring, isn't it? It's, it's, it's poor attempt at pinstripes. Yeah. It's just, I feel like Southampton kits are very white and red, not a little bit of white in there. Terrible sponsor again. What's OAP3 or whatever it's supposed to be? <laughs> <laughs> OAP free. It's a place where there's no old people. Southampton. <laughs> oh, no, that's full of old people. That is. Old people, that, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Maybe that's what they were trying to get in touch with. <laughs> <laughs> remove the stripes, remove the old people. That's what we're trying to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> On the shirt. Yeah, it's just it's boring, isn't it? It's, it's boring. Yeah, if, if United had that, I'd be very disappointed. I'd be fuming if United had pinstripes on a shirt. Yeah, exactly. Or, or rather than looking like a tablecloth, but yeah, um, like a tablecloth better than that. <laughs> it, no, it is. It definitely is because it wins. It wins titles. Arsenal should take heed of that, I guess. Uh, <laughs> 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 um, Marcus, we'll come to you on it. On this one, and it was your eighth place shirt. They, they, they come up in the Premier League. I think the first game was against City, won it at 3 2. Uh, they'll take a 2 0 lead or something like that in that game. Uh, ended up losing, but it's not a great shirt, is it? Really, no. Um, yeah, I, I, I've I kind of put this so I don't, it's not offensive, right? But it's, I don't like it. Um, and I think I just put it low because for some reason I've taken on Dan shirt hits the fan love for Portsmouth and I feel a little <laughs> bit biased. So I look at Southampton, I just think scummers. Like it's just the first thing that comes to my mind now. <laughs> yeah, I just feel like scummers. Um, <laughs> so yeah, like, I, I couldn't even tell you played in this shirt. It's just so just forgettable. Ricky Lambert. Ricky uh, yeah, Lambert. yeah. Lambert. Lambert. Luke Shaw played in this show. Oh, actually, quite a good team. This was their good team that they had. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Lovren yeah. playing this as well. Lovren, Ward Prowse would have been there, wouldn't he, I guess, at that time. Um, but, um, yeah, it's, it's not a great shirt. Like, do you know the best part of this shirt is the oh, little lining in the back, in the collar, the, the actual the proper red right, and white stripes. That's the best part of the shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and wait, is that a ta- is it ta- is tailored? Is this I a think tailored? It is, I think it is a tailored. It does right. this unless this is like a quadruple XL. It doesn't look very tailored either. It just looks like it will just fit horribly. Yeah, I've on- I've only seen this shirt in like like say in treble XL. I've only seen it massive, honestly. And it who are you tailoring it to? Picnic table. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> but yeah, nah, it's it's not a good shirt, unfortunately. No. Yeah, I, I agree. Dom, we'll finish off with you on this one. Uh, and it was your fifth place shirt. Yeah, it's because I hate Dan from... Uh, <laughs> 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 that joke. Um, that, no, it's because... No I'm, one hates Dan. No, no, no hates absolutely not. It's because I'm completely... Oh, get him off. Because uh, I'm, like... Romanticized by the Tailored by Umbro series, yeah. uh, irrespective of <clears throat> the team. I know what these shirts are like to wear uh, when they're not double XL as they are still on the players. Uh, maybe they just didn't produce them in any lesson. Uh, it's like uh, old XL shirts from the 90s. Like, did you not see large or medium? It's like, no, nope. <laughs> <laughs> only, one size old. fits all, yeah, <laughs> eventually. <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, I think um, yeah. Whilst there's that move away from traditional block, you know, um, red and white stripes, I think there are teams that have been praised for it. Like a, a lot of people like that inter shirt that's more black than it is blue. Um, yeah. And I think this uh, as a standalone shirt. If I got no particular allegiance to Southampton, I quite like the shirt. I, I like red and with pinstripes. I think of the likes of Aberdeen and stuff like that. Um, and some of the faded um, stripes that we've we've had on shirts, such as our own from like '83. Um, so yeah, there's a, a a lot to like about it. Um, same template, I think, as that City one from their uh, title winning season. So that's that pisses me off a little bit. But yeah, it's yeah. more just because I love Taylor by Umbro. Fair one, mate. Fair one. Uh, so there we go. Southampton joint seventh on our list this week. Nineteen points. Overall, for their weird-looking home shirt. Moving on, then. And we're going to an away shirt. Again, 19 points. And it's a cap effort from Fulham. 
and this nice orange and black little effect pro number there. So uh, from the rankers that aren't here, Sean did not like this. This was 10th on his list this week. And Jay, our good friend Jay from Retro, he said about this shirt, it was eighth and orange colour is nice, but the cap of badge is too high. Looks like it fits horribly too as well. All right, uh, Shakespeare. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Can't, can't, can't get give enough this week, I'm telling you. Um, <laughs> going through the rankers uh, that are here, Don, we'll kick it off with you on this one. And it was a sixth place on your list this week. Tell me why. Yeah. Oh, I, I don't know. In truth, I don't know why, but I'm drawn to it like a moth to a flame. Or oh, like horses fucking. You just want to look away, what? but you can't. <laughs> <laughs> you, know what? Like, what? you know when you see something you're like oh I, I shouldn't be watching this and then you go I dread to look at your internet <laughs> check his arm dress I dread to look at your internet <laughs> that's, that's... but I'm intrigued by it I don't, I don't particularly like anything about it what the shirt like... or the horses <laughs> <laughs> both. <laughs> both both okay but about okay. the shirt let's talk about the shirt I'll, uh, I'll tell us your your instant feelings. What what emotions are, are stirring in your loins for this one? Rugby, yeah. Orange, orange, yeah. Don't leave. <laughs> what? Yeah, I've, I don't, I kind of want it to stick around. Oh, I like right, okay. it as a full oh. kit as well. Um, it's not those immediate like feelings of oh that's fucking disgusting. Get rid of it. Um, yeah. I don't particularly like it, but I mean, like, I'm just drawn to it. That's it. Mm. Um, I think it's because it's so fucking garish. It is garish. You're right. It's garish. Uh, Jake, I'll come, I'll come to you on it. And it was uh, fifth place for you. I mean, are you a fan of are you a fan of football shirts with turtlenecks? <laughs> Not necessarily the turtleneck. I just like orange. <laughs> Speaking yeah. of turtles next, and, um, and I like inside <laughs> is this a yay or a nay? <laughs> Quick, quickly, Jake, save the show. Uh, yeah, this, <laughs> this, full of, this, this full of shit. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> I like orange. <laughs> that was it. That's literally it. And, and, I like and, orange. And Berbatov. Yeah, well, I mean, oh, everyone yeah. likes. Everyone should like Berbatov. So this is um, his first season when he left United and still yeah. scored about 20 goals. He did, yeah, he did. What a player. And, and Brian Ruiz. Brian the Ruiz. best Costa Rican player to ever walk the earth. I'll take, I'll take your word for that. I'm not I'm not up with Costa Rican player history, mate. I'll just take your word for that. Well, what, there's, what, only two, there's only two Costa Rican players I can Yeah, uh, Joe Campbell. Joe Joe, Campbell, yeah, yeah. Never, everyone thought he was the next coming of Christ and he did absolutely nothing. He, not he was all right, but he had work oh, he yeah, there's, there's always something. But you, you guys are used to cheating. Could you not get it over the line? Bit of backhanded payments like last time. <laughs> so it, uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Remember why we're here? Because you to rank shirts. Yeah. <laughs> Right, okay. Uh, Jake, so Orange, Berbatov, Brian Ruiz, that's why you like it. And, and as a full kit, it's not, see, that looks so much better as a full kit. It's not It's not as offensive yeah. now. No, it's not. No, it's not. So um, that, that white breaks it up nicely. You need a bit of neutral in there. What's that on the yeah. short? Oh, it's Kappa logo. And it's Kappa. You've got to love Kappa. I, I, I can't wear Kappa because it shows my boobs, but. I love Kappa. <laughs> love it from afar. Like, yeah. <laughs> like Dom does to horses. Um, yeah. <laughs> Marcus, we'll finish off. We'll finish off for you. Stop letting me in the field. <laughs> uh, seven, seven for you then on, on this list. Better as a full kit for you than it is. Yeah. I, this one moved a lot on my list. This was the one that took me so long to rank. Um, like with Dom, I'm I am drawn to it. There is something about it that doesn't. I want to go. Oh, it's awful! Like, look at it. Look at the state of it, because yeah. it is so garish. But then I look at him like, no. Nah, do you know what? It's really unoffensive. 
But because it was really unoffensive, I just used it as my place marker. So I just slapped it in the middle. Yeah. And then I ranked everything off of how I felt about the shirt with that in the middle. So that was the one that gave way for other shirts. Um, I quite like the capper on the side here. Quite yeah. interesting. Um, I'm surprised the Premier League allowed it because um, they've got Brandon elsewhere on the shirt. Um, the only thing I don't like about the capper shirts is from that era as well, the sleeves come down like really low. Yeah, they were yeah like three quarter length ones, weren't they? they were way yeah, um, yeah, yeah, and just kind of when I think of Kappa from that era, I just think of Spurs, and no one wants to think of Spurs. <laughs> so um, not, even, not, even, not even Spurs fans want to think of Spurs. Yeah, you're right. But, um, <laughs> yeah, but no, it's, it's 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 all right. I mean, I do get kind of whole city vibes as well from it because it's yeah. like black and orange. But yeah, it's it's an okay shirt, and it is a better one of a bad bunch, even though I ranked it quite low. Um, but yeah, this is all right. So there we go, Fulham. You can write that in the history box. It's an okay shirt, not as bad as the rest, uh, as said by Kit Manamarcus. Uh, Fulham then, and their away shirt from 12 to 30, 19 points, joint seven, like I said, along with the Southampton home. Let's move on then to number six on our list. 24 points from our rankers. Zeke will be happy or maybe not so happy, but it's the Norwich shirt from this season. Big of evil. Um, I, 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 by scoring the shirt from rankers. What do you mean? I don't know. I don't know what you mean. Uh, Sean had this in seventh and Jay had it uh, spot on in sixth place. Basic kit, nice collar, simple base, average, but nothing Bad. That's what he said about that one. Um, Jake, we'll start with you on this one. It was your seventh place shirt. It's a Norwich shirt, isn't it? Yeah, you've hit the nail on the head there. It's a Norwich <laughs> shirt. And it was it, for me, this was the, the benchmarker of, is it worse than this or is it better than this? Yeah. And it just, uh, same with Marcus with the, the Fulham, it found yes. its way falling a bit further down. Just for the pure fact of, it's Norwich. Yeah. It's it's just Norwich. It, Norwich. I don't think Norwich ever changed their kits, do they? I don't, I don't do that. that. I just, just think they just get someone else to make it. But yellow. <laughs> oh, I don't do that. <laughs> is, is that a violation? Is it? <laughs> like I think low key Norwich. Are like a kit powerhouse. Like over the years, their kitography, if you want to call it that, is pretty solid. Yeah, but it's it's, yeah. The, it's not the home kit. This isn't it's their never best the home kit. kit. No, this is their, definitely not their best shirt. But the the Norwich away kits have been good. Home kits haven't. The ninety two kit was a bad oh, no, the ninety two away Fight. kit was the bullshit one, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm not going to defend Norwich that much. Like it, uh, it sounds like you are. Oh, it sounds like you are. See, I, you see, I have kind of taken on a bit of that. Yeah, well, there. you love Zeke because you, you're London lover boys with him. <laughs> I just moved away. He's not my friend anymore. But, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, yeah. Anything else, Jake? I mean... No, it's, it was my benchmarker and it's Norwich. Yeah. And I think we can all see it's Norwich. We can, <laughs> we can, we can definitely see that it's Norwich. It's not uh, quite that, the yellow of Brazil. No, it's not. And it should never be compared to it either. I'll say that. Uh, Kit Manamarcus, um, yeah. it, was your, it was your third place shirt. So we can understand why you're so hepped up about someone having something bad to say. No, I didn't. I didn't. No, listen. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. You can't be part of the football shirt community anymore. <laughs> <laughs> right. Hear me out. Right. First of all, I didn't jump in. Because um, to defend this shirt in particular, I jumped in to defend Norwich's kitography. Just in you general, put it that... third. <laughs> Do you know why? Because it's just the full of ones better than this. It's just base. It's just a clean shirt. I just looked at it and I was like, "This is just they're all shit." I'm just gonna put it out there, right? This is the one. It's a I bad list. At, and I just go to myself. You know what? <laughs> Right, this one is so inoffensive. It's clean, yeah. Like it's just, just there's nothing wrong with it. Like there's, and I can't. What's there to critique about it? Nothing. It's got a decent color. Got a little green tash bit here. Um, the sponsor's inoffensive. 
Um, <laughs> Green gold. You know what it is? It, Marcus is such a nice guy. He didn't want to offend Zeke. We all know that. No, no it has not, It genuinely has nothing Zeke to do with that. Zeke would have got on the phone and said, don't you ever try and break into my house ever again. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> How dare you not put Norwich in your top three? And, and, the, and, the, and the full kit of it looks pretty good. Like, it's... it's and it is very Norwich. Yeah, it, it, it is. I mean, yeah, ben Foster likes Norwich. it. I can tell you that for free. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> he's a big fan. Oh, he's a big fan. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I just think, and I was also thinking about Sean's night out rate, night out rating, and oh, drag Sean into this. He's done now, right? No, I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, this one you you could probably get away with wearing it out. It's just a basic polo neck. It's it's all right. In Norwich. If in I Norwich. saw someone yeah, wearing nowhere. that, I would have a word with them. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't be a nice what, one. What would, the word, what would the word be, Jake? Tell us. I want what the word is. It'll be two words. You bellen. That's three you words. <laughs> oh, wait, but, no, bellen's bell bell hyphenated, isn't it? Uh, uh, fair enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, we'll stick it as one. It's fine. Um, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> you bellen. <laughs> <laughs> you bellen. Um, okay. Uh, fair, fair one, Mark. Anything else you want to say about your second favourite team? No, it's not my second favourite team. Ah, oh, whatever. Uh, <laughs> Dom, we'll finish with you. Uh, you had it in eighth place. Yeah, I'm not going to sit you on don't, the fence. You don't care about <laughs> me, really. Shut the fuck. I couldn't care less. <laughs> <laughs> I can't this. Mate, it's, do you know when you look at some shirts and you go, Wow, it's absolutely timeless. This, you couldn't tell me what fucking year it was from. You could no, tell you me any year, and I believe you. You know what? It's not, it it's not even, it, this isn't even 12 13. It's from last season. I, I, you know what I mean? You could tell me <laughs> any time between 1993 and now. You'd be like, oh, yeah, bro. <laughs> Very Norwich. Very Norwich, that, isn't it? God, ben, ben Foster looks old back in 92. Bloody hell. <laughs> Are they playing Rex in there? <laughs> yeah. uh, but no. It, no, it's just fucking boring. Um, yeah. I think, yeah, the, the Aviva thing... I think I like the fact that that little weird thing on the collar matches the Aviva sponsor, but that's literally about it. <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah. I, I can't think of anything good to say about it. It's boring, but it's very um, Norwich. It's very Norwich. You're very, very right. Uh, I'm very, very sixth place on our li uh, list this week. 24 points overall. Norwich City with their home shirt from the last 40 years. Uh, we'll move on. Fifth on our list this week with a uh, bit of a jump up now. 29 points. I can't believe this got so high up on the list. I'm actually shocked this is so high up. It's this <laughs> from QPR. 29 <laughs> points. Um, oh, no, hold on. Hold on. There's two reasons Who's done why. that? Two people, first of all. The first one I'll say straight away. Sean. It's Sean, straight away. Third yeah. place. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, the second person... Third place as well. We'll start with him to see, see what he's got to say for himself. He's just had a blatant go at Marcus for putting one third. <laughs> Jake, <laughs> please explain you're working out. Adult to wrap. Oh, yeah. I mean, he did yeah. say players before, to be fair. I did say I put some more high up because of the player. I look at that and go, that's Adel to wrap. That is. Yeah. And <laughs> the best non good player, basically. The best long good player. You're right. Yeah. Okay. The best bang average player. <laughs> Everyone knows who he is. I mean, streets will never forget him. He only was good for QPR, and that's the best thing QPR have ever had. Was this the season he scored that goal against Fulham when he rolled the foot over the ball and put it outside of his foot? And it, oh, I think what so. a that was. That's the only thing oh, he ever actually done for QPR. Yeah. So yeah. Things. Maybe. Um, so that literally Terraps is the only reason this is in third place for you. Yeah. <laughs> fair enough. Fair, fair enough, mate. I yeah, mean but it's also it's a it's a QPR shirt because you can it's got blue and white stripes. Yeah, you're right. I hate um, you know what? <laughs> one one thing I have to say about this shirt is that rubbish regen badge they did that looks like it reminds me of a Harchester United one I mentioned Harchester United on the show all the time that, is, that badge is horrible it's, that, oh that, it's the worst thing I've ever it's seen it's just a velvet it's printed on velvet and stuck on the shirt Ugh. but it just looks like as the badge it's just horrible it's just yeah, it's, like, horrible it's all blurry thing. as well if you were to actually have one it's like quite blurry 
No, the, fo- the, fo- the, fo- the photo is just bad quality, mate. That's all that is. <laughs> no, no, I've had to well, I've had oh, yeah, no. before, so I yeah. you know what? <laughs> once you've seen one, you go, it's not actually blurry, the picture. It just looks blurry. <laughs> this is HD, this. Yeah. <laughs> 4K. Caught in 4K, motherfucker. <laughs> Blurry and 4K. Well, I got caught in 4K and, uh, putting this in third place, but I was just... <laughs> I, I was... I looked at the shirt, and then I started watching to rap highlights on YouTube. And then I was right. like, oh, I can stay there. Thank, thank God it's only a minute long, because if it was two minutes long, you'd have put it first. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Jay had it in seventh. Lotto branding is nice. Thin hoops work. Uh, the collar is a bit dodgy. Oh, here he goes with collars again. Uh, we'll move on. Dom, we'll come to you on this one. And it was your ninth place shirt because you've got sense and you don't like to wrap, obviously. No, I like to wrap this up and put it in the bin. That's about it. <laughs> it's awful. It's, that, and Jay's quite right about the colour and the lot of things on the sleeves. I can't even, even nostalgia and thinking I was a right pimp in college with John Paul Gautier. Like, I can't, I can't even get over that. Like, that's all it reminds me of. It's dreadful. It is piss poor. Uh, the badge and obviously um, that kind of blurry effect of it as well. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Another reason to hate it. I think, yeah. On pitch, it's look, it still looks shit there. There he is. Absolutely. So. Well, even the players have got the reds in their hands over that shirt. That's how shite it is. Um, it's, it's got that V-neck where it's got another T-shirt underneath it. Um, and that just reminds me of... All Saints days. Um, yeah, top yeah, yeah. Uh, top man. Top, top yeah, yeah. Two for ten pounds. Yeah, I remember, mate. I remember. <laughs> okay, you now look at them all. Like, oh, this is so shit. Oh, I'm so glad we got relegated for this. This is disgusting. This is no Norwich home shirt. Let me tell you, um, Mark, Marcus. Let's finish off with you, mate. Um, yeah, fourth place you had it in though. Yeah, I mean. Is that what it was? for the culture. Big Lowick Remy fan. He, he was pretty good. Do you remember, there was like for years, all oh, Arsenal need to win yeah. the league is a striker like Lowick Remy. Um, and the center of like Chris yeah. Stamba. Yeah, yeah, Christopher Sal. Fucking hell. That's why it's here. It's all these players that I used no, to love playing with on FIFA. It genuinely That's all it was. It was the correct factor. As soon as I saw it, it's like one of the only shirts that I looked at and I was like, I can put a player to this shirt that, <laughs> that actually stood out. So, yeah, maybe it was a bit of nostalgia. The colour is a bit shit, but yeah. we're dealing with a shit bunch of shirts. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I, it's, yeah, I did quite like the thinner hoops um, than usual for QPR. But nah, so, no. this would be okay. ninth in most other lists that we've been on. Apart from Tarat. Okay, yeah, fair, yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Nice. It's, it's good reason, is any uh, QPR then fifth on our list this week with 29 points overall. Right, moving up to the Champions League places and fourth place, 32 God. points. Spuds, oh, God, God. Spurs, and uh, third shirt from this season, Under Armour. Wow, uh, eighth on Sean's list, and Jay had it. This was Jay's number one this week. Jay's Jay having a giraffe, isn't he? <laughs> number one. Um, he said, pain put in this top, but kind of iconic for Spurs. The grey and black half and half. Mm-hmm. is really cool. Yellow trim tops the look off. Only trophy they'll win, etc., etc. et, cetera, et cetera. Um, That's what he says about that. I think we'll go to Marcus, because it feels like he's got something to say. And it was obviously his bottom shirt this week. Is that just biased, though? Is that no, it's not. no it, it, it's absolutely not just bias because I can genuinely speak nicely on Tottenham football shirts. I have, I've openly said that there are quite a few Tottenham shirts that I really like. Okay. This is just not one of them. I think any football shirt Under Armour has ever made has been pretty shit. Um, okay. Maybe I'm a little bit put off of it because Gareth Bell was on absolute smoke in this shirt. Um, it just felt like, yeah, he... No, you see, he looks shit like that. I don't like it. I don't think it does. I just don't like I it. Think I think it looks good. I think it the looks sponsor's awful. <laughs> like, no. 
just just know like all right if if i was ranking this like properly fairly it probably would have been about eighth properly fairly see bias, bias. right no there, there was there was just a bit like <laughs> with Tottenham. like i didn't want to give too much thought to it right okay. genuinely like i looked at it and i was like oh fucking tottenham is shit um just put it down there somewhere and i just put it 10th and i just didn't bother moving it um no all right i mean yeah, yeah just yeah. no yeah look like pajamas yeah. i've literally got a pair of pajamas that look like that you got spurs pajamas that's not <laughs> that's, that's not what real. i said that you, is not said, what I said. you said you said you wear out you wear tottenham shirts to bed that's what i heard when that you is said not that. what i said you just said you wear tottenham shirts to bed no, that's I getting said... quick that's going yeah, on Martin the Spencer's, Brett, I think I'll have you know. <laughs> Christmas present. Thank you, mummy. Marks and Spencer's a better than Under Armour, mate. So I don't blame you there, mate. That's fair. Uh, Dom, let, let's come to you on it. And it was your third place shirt. Oh. <laughs> tell, yeah. us why, tell us why it was third for you. Yeah, I'm listening. <laughs> I like the fact that it's different. Um, I think um, City had a half and half that was black and then like a even darker shade of grey than that, which I, I didn't mind. Yeah, yeah. I think as a as a look, it looks decent. I think the cut across the body to look a bit more tailored as well uh, makes it look athletic. Um so yeah, I think I can I can get on board with it. Even that weird space station sponsor, like a shit 70s film. Um yeah. <laughs> I, I don't particularly mind, but then I don't have to like it. Um, in the same vein that I don't have to dislike it. So um, as a full kit, yeah, I think uh, I think it works. And it was something that I, I don't really recall having seen before as well. So, yeah, yeah would I get on board. Yeah, and like I say, uh, Gareth Bale, absolute baller this season. Was it last season at Spurs as well before he went to Real Madrid? Yeah. I think it might have been, yeah. Um, Jake, we'll finish with you because Marcus will be excited to, le- to learn that <laughs> for you. What's your pyjamas? This was your number one shirt this week. It was my number one shirt. And <laughs> partly because Gareth Bale, 21 Premier League goals, I think he scored. Yeah. And nostalgia reasons. It's in the name. Or nostalgia reasons. <laughs> <laughs> Shameless plug again. <laughs> <laughs> and as what Dan was saying, it's, it's actually a nice shirt. It's... Yeah. Not something you've seen before in the same way. And it actually looks really nice. I like the contrast of the lighter grey to the black. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's quite smart. Yeah. Well, also, I... mate, look, it looks really good on Gareth Bale. I don't think it'll look very nice on me, but on Gareth Bale, it looks brilliant. Don't put, don't put yourself down, mate. You look sexy. Mate, it's, look that's tight, that is. <laughs> that looks tight. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll look at you at... 4XL one, don't worry, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Not saying you need 4XL. I'm just guessing that'll be no, a large. Do, mate. <laughs> I'm just saying that'll be a large. <laughs> it's capa size. Anyway. It's all right. I'll let you off. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Uh, so that was the Spurs shirt. That was fourth place uh, with 32 points overall this week from our rankers. Let's move on then to number. Three on our list, 38 points overall. And it is this one from the Arsenal. How? Yeah, I, well, people have ranked it this way. And yeah, so it's a third shirt from this season. It was the away shirt the season before, I believe. Um, Sean, and this is why. Sean had it in second place. Uh, Jay had it in fourth place. And he says, the colours of yellow maroon look nice. Classy pinstripes. Uh, and... We will start with... Who should we start with? We'll start with Dom, because it was second for you as well, mate. Yeah. Yeah, I quite like it. Yeah. Uh, I think the pinstripes are subtle enough. Uh, I think the sponsor and the colour matching for the Nike logo, the badge not being like a monochrome colour means that stands out. Uh, I think the colourway works really well. I think the colourway in reverse works really well. I think this looks good as a full kit. Yeah. Um, and I think um, elements of the, you know, the old Highbury colour as well from that last season at Highbury, I think that's always going to look good, um, as particularly for Arsenal, it's synonymous with them. So, yeah, I think um, a lot of time for this was always going to be quite high on my list, this. Yeah, no, I agree. I think, I think it's a, 
underrated shirt for Arsenal. This I've seen it in the flesh. I think I think it even works. You know that vibrant yellow. If it was a dull yellow, it it, it wouldn't work as well because it's so vibrant. It just hits you in the face. I think it's a I think it's a really nice kit. Um, is yours need a wash, Marcus? Is that what it is? Yours is very bright. Is that what's happened there? <laughs> I've got three. Yours quite dull. <laughs> no, they're, they're, they're all alright. <laughs> we'll come to you last, mate, because you're the Arsenal. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Jake, his, let's his, his shirt there looks like he's had far too many washes with the Spurs pajamas. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've got this itch, <laughs> and only one go on as well. well. <laughs> uh, Jake, let, let's come to you on it because um, it was your fourth fourth place shirt this week. Um, so yeah, what, what are you thinking about this this effort from Arsenal? I'm, Looking back now, I feel like this should have actually been my third place above the QPR. I, I was just on the Tarap tie. It was my problem. It's always been you a problem. You on the Tarap train. So... <laughs> 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 oh, composure. But yeah, no, this should have been above that now, looking back and not being so uh, biased, really. It's a very well put together shirt, sponsor and the night tick all matching the, the detailing of the burgundy. Makes it look really nice. Yeah. Contrary to the um, Southampton shirt with the small pinstripes, it actually looks good on an away shirt. I think with the Southampton one was just the fact that it did look less like a Southampton home shirt. Yeah. Whereas an away shirt, you can can be a bit more outgoing and, and do something a bit different. Mm-hmm. And I like it's just well put together, clean shirt. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I agree. Uh, let's go to the Arsenal fan then, because weirdly you put it fifth place for a, what? Uh, a shirt you on fifth place. It's not Marcus quite the space pajamas. Right. <laughs> it's not even a bit, right. So it's not even our best shirt from that season. Um, I prefer our away one, the black and purple one. I didn't at the time, yeah. but retrospectively looking at it, yeah, yeah, I prefer it. Um, it's just a really forgettable shirt for me as an actual Arsenal fan. Um, the one from the season before, because this was our away the season before, there was a yeah. special only player issue one with um, the special badge that was uh, that heat pressed into it with like the 125 year. Logo. Oh, yeah. That's really nice. And it's like a gem within the community and people don't have it. But I don't like it. I think it looks a bit cheap and a bit shit. You got three of them though, yeah? Yeah. So <laughs> it's, 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 it's about this one. This is actually a uh, air spec one. I found it in a charity shop for about five quid. Um, because a, a non-league team bought it and you can't see it because I managed to get most of the sponsor out but they put their dodgy sponsor on the front of it so like a Sunday league team were playing in like full like match spec Arsenal shirts <laughs> Mad. that shows how much Arsenal fans appreciated this shirt or didn't appreciate it and I just think of this shirt and I just think of Marion Shamak shitty hair um, yeah it's a it was just a bad time for Arsenal and Arsenal fans and I've done a video ranking all Arsenal's away shirts and this was pretty low so, uh, yeah, I'm surprised it got that high, to be fair. Yeah, not low on our list. Um, obviously, the Arsenal fan is not in the majority this time. Uh, the Arsenal third shirt from this season, obviously, the away shirt season before. It's when teams used to recycle shirts, which was a nice thing yeah. for us fans. 38 points from our rankers uh, this week. Okay, number two on our list, two shirts to go. Uh only getting into second place by one singular point. So if you hate it that much, um, Marcus, or you maybe should have liked it more, I think. Uh, anyway, the 39 points overall on our list for the second shirt is this. And it's the, if I, if I press the button and it's shown, it's the home shirt from oh, Chelsea wow. this week. Yeah, uh, second on our list, 39 points. Obviously, the season after they'd won the Champions League, and like small teams do after they've won a big trophy, Leicester. I'm looking at you, Arsenal. I've got gold in there before. Season. <laughs> no, we won gold. We won gold the year that we beat you at Old Trafford to win the league in 2001. Yeah, of course you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we actually won yeah, gold. Yeah, at Old you thought you were winning the league. You thought you. No, were we. No, we didn't think we. What this year? You mean? 
Oh, come on, mate. Come on. We didn't know. At the beginning of the season, you asked anyone involved with Arsenal, top four was the aim. January, no lie. January, I've seen tweets of Arsenal fans. The get before the Brentford game, they were they were congratulating each other, saying we've won the league, boys. It's over. <laughs> yeah, because they're idiots. Um I, well, exactly that. Our exactly. Arsenal fans can be idiots, but that was no reason why we had gold in our in our shirt. Ronnie Wine, Ronnie Wine. But we did wear gold when we won the league at Old Trafford. I just thought I'd let you know. 2001. <laughs> Silvan yeah, Wilford, I, I, his name was. I, 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 I was alive, don't worry. Um but no, so yeah, this is the Chelsea shirt, second place, 39 points. Jay had this it's his second, obviously. He had, he had Spurs above this, which is odd. Uh simple Chelsea kit, but lovely gold elements after the Champions League win. The base has a cool stripe pattern too. Um, this was Sean's number one. Sean put this number one on, on, on his list. Uh, scored quite high, really, mate, through everyone. Um Jay, you had an eighth place though. What was it about this that wasn't really had the golden touch for you? Well, it's the cheap looking gold, for start, <laughs> but only as you say, small teams do when they finally win something. Yeah, and it's just blue. You cannot see those stripes from ten feet away, <laughs> so it's blue. <laughs> it's blue. Yeah. It's just blue with budget gold on. <laughs> Brutally honest, it's, I like it's, it. It's like they asked a five-year-old to go add some gold to a Chelsea kit, and that's what they've done. Okay. Yeah. There's no creativity here, no imagination. It's shit. Yeah. And I, I believe they're having gold again next season, I think. Um, what, for finishing 10th? I mean, for spending 300 million and doing jack shit. I don't know. I didn't design it. I, I ain't got the answers. I don't have the answer, I don't know how this is so high up on the list. Yeah, I mean, you're the only person that ranked outside the the top five. Have, did everyone lose their eyes? I'm going to say no. I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, Don, we'll come to you next. If that's yes, okay. I'm, I'm quite up. Look at that. Arsenal fell off again. Yeah, it was, totally <laughs> <laughs> um, it was fourth on your list. Right near the top. <laughs> <laughs> this is a setup. Uh, yes, as for this, uh, I think. Uh, what did I have it? Fourth, you had it. Yeah, it's all right. Um, Chelsea pensioners. There's no red on it. Um, I think, yeah, it just speaks to their arrogance and opulence. The fact that um, it reminds me of Wan Mata um, it gave it some kind of um, plus points. But, yeah, that was about it. Speaking there of which, what a man. What a man. There he is. Who's the great he is. Point to my point, though. You cannot see the stripes now. Nope. No, it's just a plain, plain base, isn't it? 100%. Yeah. 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 Uh, anything else, Tom, from you? Uh, no, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Marcus, we'll finish it off with you. Um, I had a number one. You had a number one as well, yeah? You did. Um, it's clean. It's like We are dealing with a shit bunch, right? So in any other kind of situation, this is probably slap bang in the middle of the road, right? But the, the, the blue and the gold contrast well. It looks good. I quite like the fact that they've left space for the patches um, on the sleeves. With the Adidas only going like quarter of the way down. Um, yeah, it's, uh, I'm a sucker for a gold shirt, like black and gold, white and gold, blue and gold, gold and black. Yeah, it's, I, I like it, man. It's, there's nothing to dislike about it. It's clear. It's, it's yeah. It's just clean. Okay. So there we go. Um, one person who's not clean is well, I'm out of there without stubble. He's not clean shaven. Uh, but there we go. Chelsea's second on our list this week. Their home shirt after winning the Champions League. Like I say, oh, small well, teams. Set up anyway because I know he's number one. <laughs> only, only, only small teams put gold on the shirts after winning something. Oh, like we said, Arsenal do it when they don't win things as well next season. Uh, but there we go. Thirty-nine points for them overall. Let's get into our number one shirt. Their one shirt left. Uh, it is obviously the noisy neighbours. 
30, but no, 42 points, only beating Chelsea by three points. And it's their away shirt from this season. It takes your I, no, I see, I think it's amazing. I can't. You can't, you can't deny it. Uh, 39 points overall. Fifth on the list from Sean. It was third from Jay. Uh, another Umbro tailored. Soft. Soft? I don't know. Maroon is iconic for City. Looks clean. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, a, it's a nice shirt. Uh, who should we go with? Who had it? Who had it bottom? Who had it less? I don't know. Who would like to go? Does anyone want to talk about it? We'll leave you, Dom. But any of Jay? Uh, Marcus? Go on. I had it number two. You did. Um, it's it's a nice shirt. It is. Um, for very similar reasons to why I like the Chelsea one. It's clean. Yeah. Um, kind of the contrast, and I know it sounds weird because the Arsenal shirt is basically the reverse of this, like color wise. Yeah. It just works better this way around. Um, yeah, it's clean and yeah, it's tailored by Umbro. Um, you can see the tailoring. It doesn't look like it's in like seven XL um, in that picture. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, it's, it's it's a nice shirt. It's clean. All yeah. right. One it's thing would make one, bad, one bad. thing would make it better. One thing would make it better. Go on. R- removing that fake badge that doesn't mean anything to anyone. That culmination. That hybrid of Manchester United badges that they decided to put on the three stars that don't mean anything. Um, and they put the proper the proper crest back on. That would make it. You know the crest you have now. If that was on there, would make. It. Yeah. I feel like I'm going into this a little bit too much. I'm not bitter. I don't. I don't. I don't mind City. I don't care that the oil money. They've only won. They're, the they're not going to win a trouble. And your hat um, of. Uh... Yeah, they're not going. to Yeah, that's your fault. That though, that's no one else's fault but yours. <laughs> well, you've got a chance. You you lot have got a chance to to prevent it from. We have got a chance. It's on us. It's on us. Uh, Jake, we'll come to you. Um, it was second for you as well, pal. Uh, it's, it, Taylor Byron Bro did some good stuff, and this is uh, uh, an example of that, right? Yeah, I, for the batch, it's a really nice shirt. Yeah. And it did pain me to put it up that high, but it, it's nice, the colour of the sponsor, the badge, and the Umbro logo, they all kind of tie in quite well together. And it's not something you'd seen City do for a while have a burgundy shirt. I think the one before that was in the 90s, mid 90s with the brother yeah. sponsor. Yeah, they've done a couple more since of burgundy, bluish, uh, purplish ones now. But yeah, it was it was the first one they'd done for a while that was of, of that color. So the individuality aspect of it paid, paid into it, of not something you'd seen them do, and just a nice, clean, tailored shirt. And Absolutely. it is soft. It's very soft. Absolutely. They are so soft. <laughs> so soft. Just like their fan base. Well, uh, well you, can, you can ask both of their fans. You'll see them walking around Stockport, mate. Uh, Jake, you, you, said, you, said, you, said, you said it, it pains you to put it so high in, in second place. It must have killed you then, Dom. Mate, no, this is on you. This this what? is how bad this fucking list was. You've got oh, yeah, well, I'm putting it down in, to the list. In putting yeah. Chelsea first, you got Jay putting who did Jay put Spurs? <laughs> I, I put Spurs first as well. That's how bad it is. That's how bad the list is. But this shirt on its own, to be fair, and as a full kit, looks pretty. Oh, come on. Even with that yeah. murderous bastard. <laughs> <laughs> that thug wearing it. I think uh, the release photos as well. I think it was at the, they had like Yaya Torre with um, Noel Gallagher. Birthday cake. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, they've lifted that curse now, haven't they? Oh, well, um, I think have, yeah. But, yeah. Um, but yeah, I think every, every well, pretty much everything that's been said already to the positive, yeah. the Taylor Bionbro stuff, and the fact that it is... Yeah, like a, a reverse of the Arsenal one, but it doesn't have the yellow pinstripes, which is a good thing in this instance, especially yeah. if they were to run through the sponsor. But they are still in there. And I think, uh, yeah, the, the uh, cut of the shirts of this era were a second to none. Uh, have not, you know, have not been beaten since. So, yeah, yeah as, as much as it has pained me, uh, <laughs> and it looks like a bloody stool that you've had to pass, um, this... <laughs> It is. That's that's how much it's hurt. It. That's how much it's hurt me to put this on. The old turtleneck, yeah. 
Um, but yeah, against all of the others, I, I think I, I pretty much had to man's with Ty. So is this uh, like a, another horse's vibe one? Or... No, yeah, no. exactly. <laughs> exactly. And on that note, there's our number one shirt for this week, the Manchester City away shirt from the 12th, 13th season. 42 points from our rankers. Yeah, there we go. Thank you very much. That's the shirts done. As always, my uh, due diligence, there's all the shirts. There's everyone's scores and there's the final rankings. Just so you know, I don't cheat. Why would I cheat? I don't really care. Um, it's not really that, that bad. There we go then. Thank you for joining us. That's this week's show. We're closing up the rank bank. Uh, the 10 shirts have been all been ranked, verified and scored by me and adjudicated. Let us know what you think of the rankings of final shirts. Were, were the shirts that bad? <laughs> Who knows? I mean, the ones I didn't pick... I mean, were worse. The, those Aston Villa shirts were horrendous, by the way. And I, I wasn't, I wasn't going to subject anyone. And shout to out that. to the Swansea kit from that year as well, though. Yeah, yeah, white and I got, told, I got told I can't use that one by Dom because we'd used it not too long ago. So apparently, uh, I didn't want to go over old ground, shall we say? But no, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching. Uh, thank you to our guests as well, Jake. It's been a pleasure to have you on, pal. Um, hopefully, it's not the la- hopefully it's not the last time and, and you, you'd be willing to come on again That's all, it's always nice to hear if that's the case I'll always have a rank with you boys oh mate that is words to my words to my ears no it is words no it's music to my ears that's what it is don't, don't I, was, it I, was, I, was, I was so <laughs> taken I, I was so taken by, by that by that sentence I didn't know what the fuck I was saying take it from the back did you say from by that sentence pause <laughs> wait hold on let's not hold up wait a minute I think it was really nice to have you on pal um, <laughs> where can people where can people find you on the old internet uh, Instagram Twitter uh, I don't actually know what my <laughs> my handles are <laughs> no, not... how bad is that the links will be down below anyway. Yeah, the link yeah, will be down below. Down find below. him there. Find him there. He, he's t- he just wants to rank with me. That's all it is. Uh, yeah. I'm Kit too Manamarcus. distracted by that. Yeah, I bet. As always, mate, it's been a pleasure. Yeah, uh, man. Nice, nice to have you in the rank bank. Uh, yeah, what's going on in the Kit Manaman world? And- uh, just more of the same, isn't it? Just photo shoots, videos. Um, and just change shit in the comments of all of your uh, <laughs> photos and pictures of that. You know what I'm like. Yeah, man. Just there. Yeah, man. Yeah, make sure you go and follow him, subscribing to him, and his link. Yeah, as, as Kit man man. Man. yeah you know um, so yeah, on the socials, it's Kit underscore man and man, and uh, it's just Kit man and man on YouTube. But yeah, yeah man. Link to the YouTube will be there as well. Uh, Dom, I love you. Uh, always nice for you to be here with me, mate. Um, What's going on with you? What have you got anything to shout out or what? Uh, nothing. I'll be I'll be recording one of these in Germany next week, I think, or the Ooh. week after. Um, nice. Yes, having been in Amsterdam last week, that was that was uh, that was very nice, very swanky hotel. Would be the same yeah, again in Germany. It better fucking better be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Anything else? Oh, uh, you know, nope. just check you out. Well, that, the, the us, the usual stuff. Just engaging with the community. Looking yeah. to get people on here and enjoy what people have got to show. Absolutely sick. Uh, that's it from us then. Uh, obviously, I'm double A, uh, double A football ball. I don't know why I've done it the, the Portuguese way. I think I'm Brazilian, though. That's pretty much what it is. I don't know why. Um, just follow me on the socials, man. I'll be down there. Uh, subscribe to the channel, like the video, share with your kit loving friends, follow all these idiots uh, and the other two idiots that aren't here. Um, we'll be back as always. Whatever you do, just make sure. But you keep talking, Kit. <laughs> <laughs>